about symptoms of peripheral vascular what are the symptoms of peripheral vascular disease uh, sir uh, is uh, ischemic uh, Clodication. Clodication. Yeah, claudication. Uh, pain claudication. on exertion, pain. just like chest pain on exertion, yes, you have pain calf exertion. pain or pain in buttocks on exertion. On Is exertion. he having that? No, sir. Patient having. आपको चलने फिरने में कोई तकलीफ होती है? क्या होता है? This is she is having peripheral vascular disease. So certainly we need to do work up. See, is there any area which we can intervene? That's important. So we already have done CT and what about his cardiac status? Uh, sir, uh, patient having a disease in the RCA. So thrombus were present and the RCA was. So what important thing I would like to know when you presented a patient with primary PCI to RCA. RCA. So, what else I want to know about him post uh, workup? Uh, Timmy flow. That is in uh, coronary angiogram. As a general, sir. he had in 31st December, yes, sir. he had primary PCI yes, to RCA. RCA. So, what thing would you like to tell me after that? Uh, sir, uh, uh, heart function, EF. Uh, EF, so what is his EF is 45%. So, mild. Marginally reduced EF state. Yes, what else? Uh, and mild LV dis uh, uh, dysfunction and secondary. You know what part. else you would to like to tell me about him? When, when we were asked to tell, you have to tell start from clinical. So, December, right now it's 5th February. February. Yes. So I would like to know what's happening with chest pains. Is he having any symptoms afterward? So, no, always start with clinical okay, sir. symptoms, signs, signs, then investigations, investigations and then management. So, if I would like you to tell me about this patient in these four headings okay, sir. and considering this patient as post, post PC, PCI, PCI to RCA in December 30, in December 30. what you would like to tell me? Uh, sir, patient uh, having uh, uh, primary PCI to RCA on December. Ye to and now, patient, ki ki now patient is pain free, patient having no any complaints. So, level of pain. activity he has achieved right now that you have to tell me. So, what level of activity he is doing right now and is he having any symptoms on that? Now, what do you think about the attack? So, these, these things are restricted in his. Yes, sir. But this is not a good thing. It's 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 not a good thing. Okay. What else in the examination? His heart rate, his blood pressure. Yes, sir. A patient having blood pressure of 110 by 70 and pulse was 70. So it's controlled. Yes. On what treatment he is on right now? Sir, he is on uh, dual antiplatelet uh, and uh, a patient was on uh, except river oxybar also. Why? Uh, sir, because in RCA there is a thrombus present and uh, uh, from Hyderabad, patient was referred on this treatment. Uh -huh. But is there an indication of oral anticoagulant for thrombus in coronaries? Any guideline? Any of? I don't yes, think sir, so. There is no one in first two three days, uh, even initially, you can give glycoprotein two B three A if you have a very high, very clot, high clot burden while doing procedure. Yes, sir. Otherwise. But are there any indications of oral anticoagulant in patient after MI? Uh, after MI. Sir, if patient uh, is uh, valvular and patient having uh, AFib. Risk of thromboembolism. Uh, risk of thromboembolism. With high chart vest. High chart vest. And in long term, this patient is having peripheral vascular. So he may be needing it long term uh, anticoagulation after your dual antiplatelet stop then you can continue mm -hmm. because of that reason otherwise i don't think it's needed okay so you can stop
three. What should be the treatment? Dual antiplatelet, it's beta blocker, ACE or AR, and then if needed something for his peripheral vascular disease, yes, that sir. is celestazole, beta, some evidence, not class one indication, and then work up for that. Up for that. And what will be your subsequent targets? About blood pressure, cholesterol, and other. Is he diabetic? Uh, no, sir, he is not. So he is not that good. Yes, is he smoker? Uh, yes, sir, he is active. So smoker. that he need to quit because of that. Yes, sir. And his LDLs should be uh, LDLs seventies, uh, not sure. fifty-five. Fifty-five. So seventy to fifty-five 70. should be the target because he's a very high risk. High risk patient.